Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be Fear Inhibits Us from Moving On. I've got an email here from a guy who broke up with his girlfriend in the middle of a heated argument about five months ago. And he's basically been chasing and pleading and running after her ever since. But it's basically gotten to the point now where she's pretty much ignoring him. And he asked me, because I, I guess he's come across the video that I did, Seven Principles Get an X Back, since he was the one that dumped her. He thinks it's a good idea to continue reaching out to her to try to apologize for the breakup, even though he's done that so many times, she's basically ignoring him. So I've got a quote that I wrote in this particular topic, and then we're going to go through his email. Because what's really going on is if he... He wasn't happy with her. I mean, that's the reality. Is nobody ever wants to look at what was really going on that led them to make the decision. And if he wasn't happy and things weren't getting better and he decided to leave the relationship, then he should have stuck with that because that you should always you should always trust your gut. You should always feel what feels right. I've been in relationships before, especially when I've had I had a relation a couple of relationships with women that just were lousy communicators and after you're together for a while like one of them I dated for several years the other one I dated for about a year and it's like you just, you just get to a point where you realize this other person is not going to participate with you they're they're not going to do what's necessary to make the relationship work and no amount of you wanting it to be any better or wanting them to be any better or wanting them to improve their skills when they're unwilling to do it and they don't see that they have a problem it's just best to let it go and move on instead of beating your head against the wall. So the quote says, many people stay in relationships long after it is time for them to end. However, when they become fearful that they will never find anyone better or that they will never find anyone else, they will either stay and continue being miserable or try to go back to their ex because it's easier and more comfortable than moving on. Staying in a relationship longer than you should or going back to a familiar ex does not serve you or the other person and will only delay both of you getting more suitable lovers in the long run. In order for a new relationship and a better match to manifest in your life, you must first create a space for someone new to fill. Being afraid that I was never going to find anybody else or find anybody better with the next girl was going to come along was going to be great as the girl I happen to be married to. That's what caused me to get into my marriage in the first place that I had when I was in my 20s. I was young. I was dumb. I was inexperienced. I certainly didn't have anybody in my family that I could go to for advice. And I was so fearful that I'd never be able to get the kind of girl I really wanted and that I would never find anybody that loved me as much as my ex-wife did that I stayed, I went ahead and married her, even though deep down I knew it wasn't right. I talked myself into it. And a lot of people do that. Guy, like in this particular case, this guy breaks up with his girlfriend and then he doesn't find anybody new right away and he gets scared, he gets fearful. And because we all, as human beings, we tend to look at, through the, at the past through rose-colored glasses. And in other words, the longer the time period goes between your breakup and where you are now, especially if many weeks and many months go by, and you haven't found anybody else, you start feeling desperate, you start feeling fearful, you start feeling worried, you're never going to find anybody else, and you think, oh, well, me, you know, things weren't really so bad. We can maybe work that out or we can fix that. And even if you are able to go back and get together with the ex, I mean, all the things that turned you off about them, it's not like they completely changed who they were overnight. It's still there. And what turned you off in the beginning that caused you to lose interest and not want to be with them? It's going to turn you off again. And I talk to a lot, of, a lot of men and women that are in those kinds of situations, especially when they're the ones that get dumped because rejection breeds obsession. So even though they didn't really care, they weren't that happy in the relationship, when they're the one that gets dumped, oh, it's the one. I, I got to marry this person. Oh my God, that's the ultimate love of my life. Whereas before, they didn't give a shit. But when they get dumped, they give a shit because they become obsessed because their ego was attached and their identity was attached to being in a relationship with that person. So he says, hey coach, my ex and I dated for about four years and I broke up with her about five months ago during an argument and made a rash decision. Well, men who understand women, they don't argue with them. I've been regretting my decision ever since and have been trying to get her back for a second chance. Well, it sounds like you're trying to get a second chance, but obviously once the relationship was over, things weren't really that great. 
And so it doesn't sound like she wanted you back. I made a lot of the mistakes you talk about in your videos, such as texting her a lot and trying to convince her that it would be better if we got back together. So you're using logic and reason to try to talk her into giving you another chance when the reality is she associates negative emotions with being with you. And women are emotional beings. And since she no longer had the emotional connection to you and she was out of, I mean what's interesting is the statistics are that women do the breaking up about 75% of the time. And so in this particular case, he happened to break up with her and if she really cared about him and really wanted to work it out, she would have given him another chance. But it sounds like she was probably relieved. And some women will make things so miserable for a guy that they finally get frustrated and they end the relationship hoping that the guy will be the one that ends it. She would talk to me here and there for a little while and it seemed like things were getting better. Then she told me that she was going to see a movie one night with a guy friend. They're always introduced as a, oh, he's just a friend. After that night, she stopped talking to me so much and I didn't hear from her for a week or so. It's pretty obvious she's moved on and is moving on. But she was talking to you and being nice to you because, hey, and the off chance things don't work out with a new guy, she can always go back and heat up leftovers with you. I kept trying to get in contact with her and eventually she responded. Dating is like a game of tennis. You hit the ball over the net and you wait for the other person to hit it back. Now if they don't hit it back, you're done. The only way a relationship is going to work is if both people make the effort. And too many men and women go after things where it's completely one sided, where one person is making all of the effort and the other person ain't doing jack shit to make things happen. But if you don't think you're worthy and you don't think you're good enough to have what you really want and that's your belief and that's what you feel and you think and your emotional condition to expect that, when you come across somebody who's not participating with you and who's not interested, no matter how much you're into them, you ignore the fact that the other person's just not reciprocating because it matches your belief. You're acting consistently with who you view yourself to be. She told me that she stopped talking to me because she started getting more serious with this new guy and they're dating now. So she's trying to gently let you down and basically say, hey, I've moved on. I'm dating somebody else hoping that you'll figure it out and get the hint. So she got probably tired of you pestering her and figure if she just explains herself that, hey, I'm dating somebody else and then you go, oh, okay, great. Well, good luck to you. Give me a call if it doesn't work out. That's what you know, Guys wonder why – Women won't give them a straight answer when they're trying to figure out why they don't want to go out with them or they don't want to go out with them anymore. It's because even when they do give an explanation, the guy won't accept that. Like, why won't you go out with me? What, am I not good looking at? Were you stuck up? And so women just like, hey, here's my phone number just to get rid of the guy. And yet they never answer the phone and they never return any of his texts. He's thinking, she gave me her fucking phone number. I don't get it. What's the problem? And then they maybe after 10 texts or whatever, oh, I'm not looking for a relationship right now. And the guy thinks, oh, I just got to wait it out. If I just keep pestering her, maybe in a month or two, she'll be ready then. Really, the reality is she, she's trying to protect your feelings. She doesn't want to hurt your feelings. She only gave you her phone number just to get fucking rid of you. But most guys, they've seen too many movies. Like, I just got to pester. I got to keep calling. I got to be relentless. I just have to not give up. But the reality is let's have some self-respect. If you know you're awesome, why would you be chasing after somebody and trying to convince somebody of your greatness? If they can't see it right away, keep looking until you find somebody who does appreciate what you have to offer. It's hard. It's really hard to walk away. But in the long run, when you meet that next great love of your life, it's all fucking worth it, man. After... After I heard that, I asked her if I could get my stuff back from her that she still had from when we were dating. She said that she would get it back to me through friends and I haven't heard from her since. So she really didn't even want to be around you. Since then, I've been sending her texts here and there trying to stay in contact with her. Dude, she's dating another guy. So now you're trying to rip off some other dude's chick. Think about that. 
I sent her text trying to bring up good memories of ours and just ask how she's been. She hasn't replied to anything and has been dating this new guy for about two months now. It's pretty obvious. She's with somebody else. She's not interested. She's over it, dude. At first, I was hoping he was a rebound, but I'm not sure anymore. Again, look at all the things this guy is telling himself. He's trying to talk him in to, oh, this is the one. This is somebody that's, oh, we're meant to be together. I really regret what I did. Well, things weren't that great. You knew that. If you were really honest with yourself and looked in the mirror, you're like, things pretty much sucked at the time we broke up. And obviously, she thought things sucked. But you know what? She had another guy. Maybe she knew that guy. Well, the guy was a guy friend, so she knew him. And so once she was free of you, she just got in touch with him. And they started hanging out, having fun, and eventually started hooking up. And then they got serious. After all of this, I found your videos and realized I made a lot of mistakes. You think? I haven't contacted her in about a month, and I still haven't heard anything from her. She stopped talking to all of my friends who were basically all of her friends and she never gave any of my stuff back because she really didn't give a fuck. Isn't that nice? She couldn't even – she said she's going to get the stuff to you through your friends. She didn't do that. Why? Because she didn't fucking care. What do you think about it? I mean the right thing to do is at least give the stuff to your friends. I mean if there is – it is, is possible maybe she's holding on to it to someday get in touch with you but the likelihood of that happening its chances are slim to none i, I think the thing is is she just doesn't care it's not important it's not a priority she's having fun with a new dude and she probably figures you're going to keep barraging her anyways because that's what you've always done so the best thing for you to do is to move on and start dating new women especially if you have all these mutual friends oh have you seen it with so and so is Oh, wow. He was out this really hot girl the other night. That's the best thing that you can do in this situation because you've tried, you've begged, you've pleaded and she's just completely blown you off. So at this point, I would never call or text her again. If there's ever a chance for the two of you to get back together, she has to make the effort. You've made it loud and fucking clear you wanted to make – you wanted to work things out. And even when she started dating another guy, you still hung around hoping that it was just a rebound. But at this point, she's on the, in a new relationship with a new guy and she doesn't care about you anymore. Those are the, that's the – look at her actions. Her actions communicate. She don't give a fuck. That's the reality, dude. And the sooner you accept that, and the sooner you move on, the better off you're going to be. If I already sent her a bunch of text messages with no response, should I still follow your advice and send her a message saying I'm sorry and try to meet up with her? Dude, you've already tried that. The, what I talk about in Seven Principles to Get an X Back is when you realize right away that you fucked up, then you're going to go and you're going to apologize and try to work it out. But if the other person won't give you another shot, they go, oh, I'll think about it. Then you're going to say, great. Give me a call if you'd like to. Otherwise, it's been great. Wish you all the best. You don't just keep barraging her with texts and phone calls like a creepy stalker and thinking at some point she's going to – yeah, let me give that stalker another chance. Or at this point, should I walk away and never look back unless she contacts me? Bingo! We have a winner. Exactly. Your videos have been a big help and I want to make sure that I make the right move. Thanks and I look forward to hearing back. Well, the right move is nothing. I mean, it's like, I mean, at this point, come on, dude. It's like you, you can't beat a dead horse. It's like you beat this dead horse so much. It's like fucking horse hamburger patties. It's just – you just make yourself look weak and pathetic and like a total fucking loser. So the best thing that you can do for you to move on and get what you want is to start dating new women. Now it's possible months down the road things don't work out with this other guy and she may get in touch with you. That's possible but I wouldn't count on that. I'd say the best mentality to take is you know what? I'm never going to hear from her again and move on with your life as if that's your reality. Because again, it takes two people. Want to, you want to work it out but she's just ignoring you completely and she's fucking a new guy. There's nothing you can do. She doesn't want to make the effort. I mean you, you've communicated many, many times that you want to work things out. I'm sure all those mutual friends, you probably told all of them how you felt and they all told her but it hasn't gotten you anywhere. 
So the best thing you can do is to fill your life up with some new ladies and that will get back to her. And maybe down two, three months down the road when you're with somebody new and if things don't work out with the other guy and then she reaches out to you, you might – you probably won't even want her back because things will be so good with somebody new. That's a, I know it's the hardest thing to do but it's really the best thing to do. If you look at women and how they get over breakups, even though it's hard, even though it's painful, that's what they do. They get out there and they start dating again and meeting – Meet new dudes, and eventually, they find somebody. You get jump, you get thrown off the horse. You gotta hop right back on, and keep riding. So, if you'd like to get my help personally, the quickest way is to book a paid phone, Skype, or email coaching session with yours truly. You can choose any of those options by going to my website, clicking the products tab at the top of your screen, and just follow the instructions for booking whichever option works best for you. And I will talk to you soon.